But the question um, that arises, Dr. Saab, is why, why choose Malaysia? Because even I, when I heard, I was like, mashallah, there's so many countries and I love Malaysia, but again, there must be some reason. So what, what is the reason that you chose the country of Malaysia? So I feel Malaysia is the best of the worst among the Muslim countries. <laughs>
mm-hmm. and 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 even everything else is much much more economical and even traveling that you find that a large number of tourists come to malaysia so these mm-hmm. seven factors put together and especially putrajaya i feel putrajaya is one of the best muslim cities in the world for a muslim to live in because here mashallah there's mm-hmm. no alcohol there's no okay. there's no night life there's no dance clubs uh-huh. and you know there's no pork so all this put together i felt putrajaya is one of the best cities in the wow. world where a, where a muslim can live practice mm-hmm. alhamdulillah islam okay mm-hmm. alhamdulillah so i just visited malaysia to stop uh, we uh, we met each other a few months ago we had no idea this That's lockdown so. would happen uh, alhamdulillah i've been to malaysia uh, three or four times and uh, may i add here that i have found also the malay people to be very humble very sweet okay. very good akhlaq and uh, subhanallah and um, one of the things that I, i said when i went to malaysia is that in most muslim countries in the world uh, the 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 armies of islam came and then islam spread after that but malaysia is one of the few places that islam spread organically and the majority of its inhabitants uh, are muslim despite the fact that you know there was no ghazwa you know from the time of the umayyads or the sahaba so this is inshallah something that they can use to their um, advantage uh, so and of course uh, for the uh, v- listeners as well putrajaya is a new city that is around an hour or 40 minutes away from kuala lumpur half it's a, half, half an, an hour half, half an hour away and it is it's what on average some on average some much yeah. closer some yeah, further and depends on the traffic on as well because malaysia does have okay. some traffic you know but putrajaya is a as a purpose built city that was meant to be a capital uh, for the where they can run the the country from the administrative a, capital of the country yes is administrative capital yeah and it's a, a beautiful city mashallah as, as dr sab said that uh, just so many pros over there alhamdulillah semoga informasi ini dapat menambah pengetahuan dan semangat keislaman kita semakin meningkatkan kualitas ibadah kita karena secara tidak langsung dunia luar pun akan tahu dan menilai kualitas keislaman bangsa ini wallahu alam bisawab Oke okay guys, sudah selesai videonya Dan ya, ternyata muslim Indonesia kalah jauh daripada Malaysia Dan penjelasan Dr. Zakir Naid berkenaan muslim yang ada di Malaysia Dan juga tempatnya, dan juga istilahnya Bagaimana masjidnya di sana itu Nah, seperti itu ya guys ya Pertimbangan-pertimbangan yang sudah diambil oleh uh, Dr. Zakir Naik Sehingga memilih Malaysia seperti itu ya guys ya Dan kita coba baca komentar di sini ya guys ya Uh, saya sebagai orang Melayu Kepulauan Riau sangat bangga dengan Malaysia Walaupun cuma secara wilayah adalah Indonesia Tapi secara budaya kami adalah Melayu ya Selama 100 tahun kami merupakan bagian Kesultanan Melayu Dan sampai sekarang masyarakat Melayu di sini sangat memandang tinggi kepada Malaysia Ya seperti itu guys ikatannya ya antara Riau kepulauan Riau ataupun uh, Melayu Riau dengan Malaysia ini juga sangat-sangat erat ya guys ya. Jadi ya kita tahu lah Malaysia memang Islamnya bagus. Contoh kecil suamiku mualaf dan punya guru seorang ustaz dan ustadzah yang sangat baik. Seminggu tiga kali suamiku mengaji kelas fardhu ain banyak ilmu agama yang didapat. Pulang suka paling suka kalau ada kelas online aku juga ikut join sekali. Masya Allah mereka dengan sabar mengajar mualaf mualaf yang kebanyakan sudah berumur. Semoga Allah limpahkan rahmat kepada guru-guru mengajar suami dan juga untuk negara Malaysia khususnya tetap dikukuhkan akidah keislamannya dan hukum ah, hakamnya seperti itu. Kita melihat juga dan mendengar juga bahwasannya uh, sangat bagus akhlak daripada orang-orang sana ya guys seperti itu. Dan semoga video ini dapat menambah wawasan dan pengetahuan kita dan juga menambah ya untuk kita itu semakin dekat dengan Allah Subhanahu wa taala memperbaiki diri kita, memperbaiki akhlak kita dan adab kita seperti itu ya guys ya. Oke, terima kasih sampai jumpa di video selanjutnya. Apabila ada salah kata mohon dimaafkan. Saya Mamin Ududri. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.